Michigan need a little bit of help? Well, a national transportation group from Washington, D.C. called TRIP will agree. This group released a report showing that our state is in the top five for having the worst rural roads and bridges. Alexandra Illich tells us how they came to that conclusion. It's sad that, that a Michigan pastime is taking pictures of potholes. It's no surprise Michigan roads need fixing, and the Ingham County Pavement Management System predicts that due to lack of funding, poor road conditions will increase to about 50%. Our local road system is really where our problems are. Mm -hmm. Our municipal and county road systems um, are in fear to poor condition and are gradually declining from lack of road funding. For one local driver, driving conditions within the area are so bad that both her car and wallet have taken a beating. There was uh, a really deep pothole and I hit it even though I was going slowly I still hit it and it just destroyed the rims on my on my car and I had to have them replaced. And, 1700 bucks later. Aside from Bennett Road and Okemos Road, here on Lake Lansing Road, due to obvious things like potholes and cracks, it has been coined as one of the worst roads to drive on. So the question is, what's taking so long for these roads to get fixed? Our purchasing power has been declining. Um, our, our funding from the Michigan Transportation Fund has declined about 12%, which isn't a heck of a lot, but it is a decrease. According to Bill Conklin, the road department has even made staff cuts just to preserve funding for the road system. In Lansing, Alexandra Illich, 6 News.